This is a quick tutorial on the settings that I use in GIMP. Um, since a lot of the stuff is going to be using brushes and eraser and stuff like that, uh, the Shift-Alt in GIMP changes patterns and the Control-Alt changes gradients. And I don't think people really do a lot of patterns and gradients in their normal day-to-day -day work. So what I've got are some changes that I used to the Shift Alt and the Control Alt. And how you make the changes is you pick Edit, Preferences, Input Controllers, double click on Mouse Wheel, and then you find what you want to change. In this case, scroll up Shift Alt, and we choose Edit. And for that, I want Tools dash Paint dash Brush dash Size dash Increase. Now I choose Increase. And that basically does it by 10. If you do brush increase, you get, it's only going to go up by 1 over here. And I find that because it's a brush, you pretty much 10 is a pretty good way of doing it. So I've picked that for uh, scroll up. And then I'll pick the scroll down. And for that, I'm looking for tools, paint, brush, size, decrease. And I want Tools Paintbrush Size Decrease Skip. And the next thing I'll work on is the Control Alt. And that I use to change the opacity. So we're going to edit that and we're going to use change it to Context Opacity Increase. <clears throat> so you have two choices. You have Increase which goes by one and increase skip which goes by 10 or 10 percent. For opacity I don't use the skip. I find that I only want it to go up and down a little bit because generally you usually flip between uh, a small range. So I find that uh, 10 percent is way too much. And then I'm going to choose control alt and then edit that one and change that to context opacity decrease. And I'm going to choose the this one here, not the skip. So I don't want I only want it to go by one. I pick close. I choose OK. Now, when I do Shift Alt, you can see the brush increasing and decreasing, and it's doing it by tens. So if you change it, then it's going to change, still change by tens. So if you don't, if you want it to be even, you'll have to manually change it. And then you can and you can see I've got the Control Alt, and it changes the opacity. So I've got a brush here, and we move down the opacity, it makes it a little lighter, and we can use Shift-Alt and then get a bigger brush. And you can always still use the manual control over on the left. And that's pretty much what I'm using. And I find this really useful. It's much faster than coming over here and moving around. I find these settings work with the Shift control, which goes and changes to the different brushes. So you generally, you know, you're all working, usually working for the, the brushes. You want the opacity and the size generally work well. This is a really good keyboard mouse wheel combination.